Look up at the night sky. On a clear night far from city lights you might see a faint band of light stretching across the heavens. This is the Milky Way, our home galaxy. It's a vast collection of stars, gas, dust and planets, all held together by gravity. Our galaxy is a swirling, dynamic place. Imagine a cosmic pinwheel its arms spiraling outward from a bright center. That's the Milky Way, it's a barred spiral galaxy to be precise. We live within this magnificent structure. But where exactly are we in this cosmic city of stars? Let's embark on a journey to discover our place in the Milky Way. It's a journey that will take us billions of miles from home, to the heart of our galaxy and beyond. The Milky Way is shaped like a giant disk with a central bulge. This bulge is surrounded by a halo of stars and mysterious dark matter. Extending outward from the bulge are the galaxy's spiral arms. These arms are not solid structures. They are regions of higher density within the galactic disk. Imagine a traffic jam in space where stars, gas, and dust are more concentrated. These traffic jams are the spiral arms. The Milky Way has two major spiral arms, the Perseus arm and the Scutum Centaurus arm. There are also several minor arms. These arms are constantly moving, rotating around the galactic center. It's within these spiral arms that we find the most active star formation. Giant clouds of gas and dust collapse under their own gravity, igniting new stars and creating dazzling nebulae. Our solar system resides in one of the Milky Way's minor spiral arms, called the Orion Arm. This arm is a fascinating region of our galaxy, filled with a mix of young, hot stars and older, cooler stars. It's a place where star formation is actively taking place, contributing to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our galaxy. It's also sometimes called the Orion Spur, because it's thought to be a bridge of gas and stars connecting two larger spiral arms, the Perseus Arm and the Sagittarius Arm. This connection plays a crucial role in the structure and stability of the Milky Way, acting as a sort of cosmic bridge that helps to maintain the integrity of our galaxy's spiral structure. Think of our location like this. If the Milky Way were a city, the galactic center would be downtown. This bustling area is packed with stars, gas, and dust, all swirling around a supermassive black hole. It's a place of intense activity and energy, much like the heart of a busy metropolis. The major spiral arms would be the main avenues. These are the broad, busy streets where most of the action happens, filled with bright young stars and massive star-forming regions. They are the lifelines of the galaxy, channeling material and energy throughout the Milky Way. Our Orion Arm would be a quieter residential street branching off one of those avenues. It's a more peaceful and stable region where stars like our sun can live out their lives in relative tranquility. This makes it an ideal place for the development of life. We are located about two-thirds of the way out from the galactic center in the Orion Arm. This position places us in a relatively safe and stable part of the galaxy, far from the chaotic and dangerous regions near the galactic core. That's about 26,000 light years from the heart of the Milky Way. This distance provides us with a unique vantage point to observe the structure and dynamics of our galaxy, offering a relatively unobstructed view of the cosmos. Our location in the Orion Arm places us in a relatively calm and stable region of the galaxy. This stability is crucial for the development and sustainability of life providing a safe haven from the more violent and unpredictable regions of the Milky Way. It's a good neighborhood for a solar system. The relative calm and stability of the Orion Arm make it an ideal place for planets to form and for life to potentially thrive. Our solar system has benefited greatly from this favorable location, allowing life on Earth to develop and flourish over billions of years. The Milky Way is not a static place. Everything in the galaxy is in motion, orbiting around the galactic center. Our solar system is no exception. We are moving at an incredible speed of about 515,000 miles per hour, or 828,000 kilometers per hour, as we journey around the center of the Milky Way. Even at this speed, it still takes our solar system about 230 million years to complete one orbit. Imagine that. The last time our solar system was in this same spot in its galactic orbit, dinosaurs were just beginning to roam the Earth. As we orbit the galactic center we're not traveling alone. We're joined by billions of other stars and star systems, all locked in this cosmic dance around the Milky Way's heart. While our solar system might seem isolated in the vastness of space, we do have neighbors. 
The Orion arm is home to other stars and star systems, some of which are relatively close to us. One of our closest neighbors is the Alpha Centauri system, located just over four light years away. That might seem like a huge distance, and it is. But on the scale of the galaxy, it's like living next door. Other nearby stars include Sirius, Procyon, and Vega. These stars, along with our Sun, are just a few of the billions that call the Milky Way home. As we continue to explore our cosmic neighborhood, we are discovering more and more stars and planetary systems. Who knows what wonders await us in the depths of space? Now, let's zoom into our own cosmic backyard, our solar system. This vast and intricate system is our home in the universe, a place of endless fascination and discovery. Our sun, a yellow dwarf star, sits at the center of this bustling system. It is the powerhouse that fuels life on Earth and governs the movements of all the planets and other celestial bodies within its reach. Eight planets including Earth orbit the sun, bound by its gravity. Each planet follows a unique path creating a delicate balance that has persisted for billions of years. These planets come in a variety of sizes and compositions, from the small rocky worlds close to the sun, to the massive gas giants further out. Each planet has its own distinct characteristics and mysteries. There are rocky terrestrial planets like Earth and Mars. These planets have solid surfaces and are composed mainly of rock and metal. They are the inner planets closest to the sun. There are gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, these enormous planets are composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, and they have no solid surface. Their thick atmospheres are home to some of the most extreme weather in the solar system. And there are ice giants like Uranus and Neptune. These distant planets have icy compositions and are shrouded in thick atmospheres of hydrogen, helium and methane, giving them their characteristic blue hues. But our solar system is more than just planets. It also includes dwarf planets like Pluto, which reside in the outer reaches of the solar system, in a region known as the Kuiper Belt. It's also home to dozens of moons, millions of asteroids, and countless comets. These objects, though smaller, play crucial roles in the dynamics of the solar system. Each of these objects has its own unique story to tell. Moons like Europa and Titan may even harbor conditions suitable for life, while asteroids and comets are remnants from the early solar system, offering clues about its formation. Our solar system is a dynamic and fascinating place full of wonder and beauty. It is a constantly changing environment with new discoveries being made all the time. It's a reminder that even in the vastness of the Milky Way, we are part of something truly special. Our solar system is just one of billions in our galaxy, yet it is our unique home, a place of endless exploration and discovery. It's hard to truly grasp the sheer size of the Milky Way. Our galaxy, a sprawling collection of stars, planets, and cosmic dust, is a marvel of the universe. When we look up at the night sky, we see just a tiny fraction of its grandeur. Our galaxy is about 100,000 light years across. To put that into perspective, a light year is the distance light travels in one year, which is about 5.88 trillion miles. So the Milky Way spans an almost incomprehensible distance. That means it would take a beam of light traveling at the fastest speed in the universe, 100,000 years to travel from one side of the Milky Way to the other. Imagine the journey, spanning millennia, across this cosmic ocean. To put that into perspective, if our solar system were the size of a quarter, the Milky Way would be as big as North America. This analogy helps us understand the vastness of our galaxy in more relatable terms. Within this vast expanse, there are an estimated 100 billion to 400 billion stars. Each of these stars could potentially host its own system of planets, moons, and other celestial bodies. That's more stars than there are grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. Just imagine the countless possibilities for life and other phenomena in such a star-filled galaxy, and the Milky Way is just one of billions of galaxies in the observable universe. Each galaxy, like our own, is a vast collection of stars, planets, and cosmic wonders. It's staggering to think about the sheer number of stars and planets that must exist out there. The universe is a vast, mysterious place filled with wonders beyond our imagination. As we continue to explore and learn, we uncover more about the incredible expanse we call home. The discovery that our solar system is just one of billions in the Milky Way, and that the Milky Way is just one of billions of galaxies, has profound implications. It forces us to confront the possibility that we are not alone in the universe. 
If there are so many stars and planets it seems statistically improbable that life would have arisen only on Earth. Somewhere out there in the vast expanse of the cosmos, other life forms may exist. Perhaps they are simple single-celled organisms, or perhaps they are advanced civilizations far beyond our own. We don't yet know the answer but the possibility is both exciting and humbling. The search for extraterrestrial life is one of the most compelling quests in science. It's a search that could fundamentally change our understanding of our place in the universe. Our journey through the Milky Way has taken us from our local neighborhood in the Orion Arm to the vast expanse of the galactic disk. We've seen the incredible diversity of stars and planets that call the Milky Way home. We've come to appreciate the sheer size and scale of our galaxy, a structure so vast that it's difficult for our minds to truly comprehend. And we've glimpsed the possibility that we are not alone in this vast cosmic arena. The next time you look up at the night sky, Remember that you are seeing just a tiny fraction of the stars in our galaxy. Our sun and its planets are just one small part of this grand cosmic tapestry. We are part of something much larger than ourselves. And that's a humbling and awe-inspiring thought.